First, tracking a pinpoint weather alert this morning. Strong winds and heavy rain continuing to sweep through parts of our area, bringing the potential for some coastal flooding. Take a look over here, Narragansett. You can see those waves battering right over the seawall. Now, police about 30 to 40 minutes ago just closed off that road. High tide is expected around 9 a.m. this morning. But it is Saturday, January 13th. I'm Joe Cortez, joined by meteorologist Stephen Montegrano. We have live coverage on the roads this mm -hmm. morning. Ben, before we get to Stephen, uh, 95 at Atwell's Avenue. The, we've seen some crews out there. They've blocked off a few lanes because of that flooding. We'll bring you more updates in just a minute, but let's get right over to Stephen. Stephen, we're tracking this forecast. It's been going throughout the night. What are we looking at in the next couple hours? So a flood warning is issued for Providence and Kent County. That's the latest update. Uh, very heavy rainfall tracking on through. Uh, of course, we've been watching the rivers the last several days, and of course, this rain is just adding to that uh, part of our uh, weather coverage. And you can see again the radar here showing uh, the heaviest rain is now kind of pushing north and east. So uh, we'll be seeing some lighter rain kind of take over and eventually the rain will come to an end. But the gusty winds out there have been really howling along the coastal regions. We've been seeing gusts 72 miles per hour uh, over on Block Island, 66 in westerly. And again, uh, some very gusty winds at the shoreline. This is the wide view of the uh, storm. You can see again the snowy wintry side on the Great Lakes region. But again, we're on the warm and rainy side with some flooding out there. Very rough seas and gusty winds in New Bedford. Narragansett, you can see here the road is closed down by the seawall. Waves I've been watching all morning long continue to crash over the seawall. And this is uh, just the beginning as the high tide is expected another hour or so down here in Narragansett. Some peak wind gusts from this morning, like I mentioned. 72 Block Island, 66 Westerly, 64 Connecticut Light, even TF Green, 52 miles per hour, taut in 54 as well. Some rainfall totals too, by the way, very heavy rain tracking over our area, generally one to even two and a half inches of rain, if not more. West Warwick, over two and a half inches of rain so far as the rain continues to fall. So this is a look at what's going on weather wise, but of course we have uh, 12 News reporter Adriana Rosas Rivera outside in the field tracking the flooding threat. Adriana, we've been talking all morning long. What's the latest update out, out there where you are. Yes, yeah, Stephen, I'm thankfully dry, even though I lost the coin toss with you and Joe on getting to stay in studio. But let's show you guys what it looks like outside. We're on Pleasant Valley Parkway in Providence right now. You can see there's a median between the east and westbound lanes. That pretty much looks like a lake at this hour. We're parked on one side. It's not spilling out into the road quite yet, so you can drive on Pleasant Valley Parkway as of this hour so far, and you won't have much trouble, but we will be watching this spot because it is heavy flooding as of this hour. So if you have to go through this area and on those highways, be careful. There is some ponding. You can just tell the, the the ground is having a hard time absorbing all of this rainfall after the previous rain rainstorm from earlier this week. As for power outages, those are up again. They were up steadily from 6,000 earlier this morning. Now a whopping 23,000 customers have no power, mostly in South County as of this hour. So you can check our power outages map on WPRI.com if you want to check who is affected. We'll be back in the next 30 minutes for another update live from Breaking News 1. I'm Adriana Rosas Rivera, 12 News.